Hello everyone and welcome to my video. In this video I'm going to be talking exclusively about the 2023 Rugby Championship that starts in just over a week's time. We've got lots to get through. We're going to take a look back at last year. We're going to look at what's going to happen this year as a precursor to the Rugby World Cup starting in September. Welcome to my Mark Philpot Inside Sports channel. In this channel, I cover sports news and everything from around the world with opinion pieces, analysis, looking at reviews and previews. And in this video, we're looking at the rugby championship that's starting in just over a week's time. It's going to be super exciting for all rugby fans across the world. It's a precursor to what's going to go on at the Rugby World Cup. And there's going to be lots of testing out in different areas. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button on this channel. I'm going to be following all the way through the Rugby Championship into the World Cup and uh, all the other games that are taking place in between. So you're going to get all your rugby news here and opinions from a Kiwi who's living in Mexico. So let's get into it. And first of all, I want to take a look back at last year because last year was a phenomenal Rugby Championship. We had a few upsets. Along the way, we had Argentina starting off in strong form. So let's have a look at what happened in 2022. It was a fantastic start to the championship last year as we got a few surprises. Uh, in week one, we had the Springboks beating the All Blacks 26 points to 10. Uh, we had Argentina losing to Australia 41 points to 26. High scoring game in that one. In week two, we had the Kiwis uh, revenging their loss to the Springboks, winning 35 points to 23. And we had Australia being downed by Argentina, 48 points to 17. And that was, I guess, a little bit of a story of what was to come in the Rugby Championship 2022. In week three, Australia bet South Africa 25-17. And the All Blacks were upset by Argentina for the first time in New Zealand. 25 points to 18. A fantastic match, a fantastic game by Argentina. And it really set the Rugby Championship 2022 on fire. In week four, the All Blacks got revenge. 55 points to three against Argentina. And Australia went down to South Africa. 24 points to eight. So uh, those first four, four weeks were really interesting in last year's rugby championship. And then in week, week five, we had that fantastic game between the All Blacks and Australia. The All Blacks coming out on top 39-37. And then South Africa making it hard work against Argentina, 36 points to 20. In the last week of the competition, it was still all to play for. South Africa had to beat Argentina by a certain amount of points. The Kiwis had to beat the Aussies. They did that by 40 points to 14. And South Africa came up a little bit short, 38-21 against Argentina. And therefore, they came second in last year's championship. So the championship in 2022 came down to the All Blacks having a narrow victory. And uh, winning by 19, having 19 points, South Africa 18 points, Australia 10 and Argentina 9. I think Argentina probably would have taken away the most from last year's competition. But of course, this year's competition has everything to play for and more as we go into Rugby Championship 2023. So without question, the 2022 series was a fantastic series and it leads us into now what's going to happen in 2023. Of course, it's a Rugby World Cup year, so things are going to be different. The championship's going to have a little bit of a different taste on it, I think, in terms of the coaches and the squads are going to have a bit of a test out, looking at different combinations, different things, and also in the back of their mind, being careful about injuries because that's going to be a huge thing. I heard Eddie Jones saying the other day, the coach of the Australian Wallabies now, talking about a 20% hit rate when it comes to injuries expected across the rugby championship. Not too sure whether that's going to be that high. Eddie loves to put out figures in the media, and you either take it with a grain of salt or you believe in it. So that's one of the changes that's happened this year. We've got Eddie Jones back in Australia coaching the Australian Wallabies. Is he going to be able to bring any magic to reigniting the Wallaby flame? They tend to always come up when there's a Rugby World Cup around, and with Eddie Jones at the helm, you should never, ever write them off. 
This is N Foster's last chance as All Black coach. Razor Scott Robertson is going to be in the seat as of next year. A lot of people, including myself, are looking forward to that. But we do hope that Ian Foster goes out on a high and whether or not he can pull off the World Cup this year will have to wait and to be seen. So the Rugby Championship gets underway on July 8th with South Africa taking on Australia in South Africa in Pretoria. That's going to be a fantastic game to start the series. It's going to give us a benchmark to understand where those two teams are at when it comes to their preparation for the World Cup. Again, I don't think the coaches are going to show all their hands to start off with. I think we're going to see a big mixture. We've got 38, 36, I think it is, members of each squad. So there's going to be a lot of rotation. There's going to be a lot of traveling involved as well because the championship this year is scheduled only over three rounds. So it's going to be pretty tough for the teams as far as traveling goes as well. So a lot of coaches are going to bear that in mind as far as positioning their squads in different parts of the world to make sure they've got fresh people to play. So the other, the other game on the opening weekend is going to be between the New Zealand All Blacks and the Argentinian Los Pumas. It's going to be played in Mendoza in Argentina just down the road from me here. And uh, that's going to be an exciting one as well, whether we're going to see Argentina turn up the passion at home like they normally do and see whether they can get that win over the All Blacks back at home. So it's going to be a really interesting opening weekend and lots of things that we need to look at. So next week I'm going to be doing a full preview of those games, looking at the sides that have been selected, talking about those combinations, how it's going to be looking for that first weekend and giving my overall opinion. And that's where we're going to start off with the Rugby Championships preview series. Then I'll get into making reviews after each game and we've watched them. You can drop all your comments about who you think is going to win. In fact, why don't you start doing that now? I'd love to hear from you who, th who you think is going to win the Rugby Championship 2023. Do you think it's going to be a series where there's going to be a lot of testing out of player combinations and players getting fit? Uh, to be able to head into World Cup selection. There's quite a lot of players at the moment who are injured, who are coming back from injury. Is it going to be their time to shine and get into the national teams or are they going to be weighted and held on until the Rugby World Cup gets underway? I'd be interested to know what your opinions are on that one. So we've only got just over a week to wait until the Rugby Championship gets underway for this season. It's going to be a wonderful competition as it always is. If you're new to rugby and you're just checking out this video for the first time, you don't know what the Rugby Championship is. It's an annual rugby competition that, that fits the top four teams in the Southern Hemisphere in the men's game together. We've got Argentina, we've got uh, Australia, we've got New Zealand, and we've got South Africa. So some really powerhouses of world rugby. Of course, the Springboks are the world champions at the moment. So all the other teams will be trying to knock them off their perch. So it's gonna be a really interesting series. It's a round robin series, so each team plays each other, and then we see who comes out the winner after that. As I said, this competition this year is a little bit different because it's very close to the Rugby World Cup, which starts in September in France, and uh, the coaches and the players will always have that in their back of their mind as they go into the Rugby Championship this year. So let me know who your favourites are, who you think is going to win, and what are some of the strategies that are going to be used throughout the Rugby Championship. That's going to be really interesting to hear your thoughts on that. Hit the little subscribe button, the bell notification every time I drop a video, whether it be about rugby or anything else, you will be notified and be able to keep in touch. Okay, well that's it for this particular episode. I'll be back again next week with a preview to the first round of games and talking about that in a lot more detail. Until then, I'll see you then.